Salutations cosmonauts, welcome to my second outpost video on my Let's Build Outpost series. I guess that's what I'm gonna call it. So this episode we're gonna be concentrating on Jaffa I, or is it Jaffa 1A? The main reasons why is because we want that iron, we want those alkanes. We don't necessarily need that helium, but it's good to have. And when I establish my outpost here, I'm gonna make sure I have some helium on premises, but I'm not gonna actually collect it since we're already getting it on uh, Jaffa 4A. Jaffa 1A is a lot like Jaffa 4A in that it's just one big biome. Like no matter where you go, it's crater, so it should be relatively easy to place our beacon. So let's place our beacon and make sure we got all three of these resources showing. But we're only going to be harvesting iron and alkanes. Alright, first thing you want to do when you land on, a, on the moon or planet or whatever, just take a beat, look up, use your ears, it's the ship landing. Because if a ship's landing, make sure you take care of that because you don't want to be jumped while you're building your outpost. And also, leave your resources on ship. Don't carry it with you while you're trying to establish your outpost. Alright, with the beacon planted, let's see how I did. Alright, so my alkanes. Where's my alkanes? Alright, we got a nice little patch here. The helium, even though I'm not going to harvest it, I have it. And my iron, yeah, plenty of iron. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do the iron. I think I'll go over here, work this patch. And yeah, we're gonna do five. One. All right, that's five. And let's get these uh, the cargo for this going on. Right, and like the other place, I'm gonna do five. Alright, cool. And now, before we link up the extractors to my boxes, let's link the boxes together. So, just like the last episode. Okay. And now that I've got my inbox and my outbox established, let's go ahead and get the extractors now. It's almost muscle memory now, man. Alright, iron is set. Alright, let's get the alkynes. What is an alkyne? <laughs> I think it's a gas, right? So, five of these. There we go. And, uh, yeah, five gas boxes. Gas boxes? <laughs> uh, five containers are storage for this now. And this is a gas, yes. And five. Cool. Link the boxes together. So this is one to the next. Alright, yeah, we're breezing through this, man. Then let's connect this bad boy into the inbox here. Notice how everything's a bad boy now? This bad boy slapped the bad boy. What happened? It's like becoming like an epidemic in all the YouTube videos. Alright, so that's it. Just those three. Or three. Just these two, that's all we're collecting on this place. So let's go ahead and um, establish our inbound cargo link from Outpost 1. And then we're going to establish an outbound uh, cargo link, which is going to be uh, for one of our future bases. So yeah, the inbound cargo first. And yeah, if you guys are wondering, the, the list of materials that I'm using in this episode are in the description down below. Okay, so this is my inbound cargo link. So let's set up the storage for the inbound cargo. So we need um, solid and we need gas. And I'm gonna make, um, yeah, I'm gonna make five solid and five uh, gas. All right, so the solids, I'm gonna see if I can stack all these up on top of each other.
Okay, so if you just hit like the right mouse button, it does that. That worked. Okay. And now let's do the gas. I just want to. Piece of cake. Now let's link these up. And I'm gonna do this in first person, man. Yeah, first person's so much easier. Alright, so let's do the gas first. So, bottom to the top. And now we'll do this from here. And you don't have to be super close, you can do it from here. So, from here to here, from here to here. See how much easier it is in first person? I don't know why I keep insisting on not doing that. And now we need the incoming cargo link to um, to go into here. So, this is the incoming, right? Yeah, cargo link incoming. So, from here to the bottom box here, from here to the bottom box there. There we go. And we just need to set that up. All right. Right, so now I want to get the power going. And I'm just going to put it like in between these two here. And if the helium is here and I need it, we could always move it. Not a big deal. Alright, so once again, another planet without any atmosphere. So we're going with the solar arrays. So we need 55 power. Just keep placing these until we get it. Too many rocks. Alright, the power is set. And before I link up this cargo, I'm going to go ahead and build our outgoing cargo link. This is so much fun. <laughs> It's like Legos in a way. All right, and we're gonna place this on this side here, obviously. And I'm gonna build my collection storage. I guess I kind of forgot to do that. All right, so, so solids and gas once again, since it's only one of each, iron and uh, alkynes, I'm just gonna do two cargo, uh, two boxes each. So that's one, that's two. Go to gas. Get away from there. I don't want you to hook it up. All right, there we go. Okay. That's set. And I don't feel like running all the way over here, so I'm going to do this from first I view. So collecting the bottom to the top. Boom. And over here too. Bottom to the top. All right. And now the outgoing of my solids from my iron, which is right here. Connect to the bottom of over here. And the same thing with the alkynes, alkanes, whatever. So outgoing box to the bottom of the gas box here. All right. So then both of these are gonna go into uh, the outgoing. So start with this gas. Over here. All right, cool. Now that we got that going on, we gotta connect these things so these will continue to be forwarded to the whatever the next outpost is. So like I said, it's gonna be just a long chain until you decide on like a main base. So connect the outgoing box, which we know is the top. Over here. And outgoing box of this one over there as well. Alright. Cool. Just like that, this base is established. It took longer to just find a spot to plant everything. Um, so of course I'm gonna rename my uh, beacon. All right, so we're gonna rename this uh, to Outpost Two, OP Two. And what do we have here? We have iron, and I don't I don't remember what the elemental symbol for alkanes is, so I'm just gonna say alk. I'll know what that means. So that's named. Right, so the last episode we didn't double check, or I didn't show you guys me double checking that everything was working. So what I did was I waited a couple hours, and you can see these containers are full. Look at all the pretty green lights. But to definitely verify that it's working, just go to this thing. Oh, you know what? I didn't even set that interlink. I will, I will. I didn't forget. But you would go to ultimately where everything is going, which would be this storage container. All you gotta do is search it, or just, you know, look at it, and you'll see what's in there. There you go, alkanes and iron, and we didn't turn this uh, interlake on yet, so let's go and do this. I'm gonna see it work. My very first interlink, guys. It's the control panels on that side and this side. All right, so we should just see um, our other outpost, right? Helium, aluminum, beryllium. Yeah, there it is. Are you sure you want to link these? Yes. All right. It only holds 300 mass. That kind of sucks. 
All right. Yeah, I was like confused. Outgoing Jaffa four Jaffa. Okay, cool. So why are these check marked but not aluminum? Here comes our first shipment, I think. Here it comes. Woo! I'm so excited. The very first shipment from our first outpost. Haha. <laughs> Now that looks like a cargo ship, man. Okay. I knew this was happening. I watched uh, Things I Wish I Knew video about like um, outposts and all that. And you don't actually see it come in here. It'll actually go directly here. It might go, end up getting shot over there real quick, so we may not see this here. But anyways. We should turn these around. Alright, so 3%. 4%, 3%. Is that all that got collected in here? Hmm, I don't know. It probably got uh, transferred over there. Let's see. 11%. Yeah, I think it probably just got filtered over there, so. Let's see if it actually ended up there. It's leaving! Thanks for the delivery, man. I really appreciate it. Alright, so we should see aluminum, iron, basically a little bit of everything, right? Okay, I was a little worried there. I was like, why is none of these uh, tanks filling up? But it just took a couple of rotations. I guess uh, the beryllium and the aluminum was uh, monopolizing the storage on the ship. But okay, here you can see the helium has definitely been making, making its round. And uh, here's all the aluminum, beryllium, all showing up right here. And what sucks is that since I don't have an outbound going ship over here, it's just all, all just accumulating here. And these cargoes, these outgoing cargo holds uh, only hold 300 mass. So we're not going to see that feed up uh, over here because it's full. So it's full of iron and alkanes, but everything is definitely working. See how there's green lights indicating everything. So yeah, but just to prove it, here we go. As you can see, uh, it holds 315, and I guess this is basically full. So there's no room uh, for my helium and my beryllium and my um, aluminum here. But you know what? That's fine. I mean, that's to be expected. These imbalances will happen until I finally get to that end point where I build a huge amount of end cargo to where it'll have just plenty of room for everything to finally flow. Well, all right, guys, I'm gonna say this outpost is good to go. Another outpost in the books. I'm feeling really good about this. So the next outpost I want to build, uh, hopefully I could get tungsten and copper and nickel in one spot. I don't know. If not, it's not a big deal. I'm having fun. Now, that's only two outposts, man. I got a big chunk of my resource list done. So yeah, I hope you learned something or at the very least you were somewhat entertained. I don't know. Uh, is anyone else doing like a let's build outpost kind of series? <laughs> well, I'm having fun anyway. So thank you for coming by. Really appreciate your support. And I'll see you in the next episode.